Okay, so very unlike me to do two hauls in a row. What is that even? Like I said, I did some shopping uh, while I was on tour as usual. I did some shopping while I was at home. Uh, as you can see, that side, sorry. <laughs> I went to Sephora and Ulta and then obviously did some shopping at home. And I'm just gonna show you everything. I decided to film uh, in my lounge. Shut up. Just because it's cozy and it's it looks warm in the background, in my opinion. Uh, it's cold here um, in Joburg as well. I need to adjust this lighting. Like I feel like I'm too bright. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it's just a cozy space, and I thought, you know, it's a chill video. We're just gonna be talking about retail therapy and live our best lives. I'm gonna jump in and start with the beauty stuff first. Um, so obviously, as you can see, I did quite a big shop at Sephora. I also did a mini shop at Ulta. Um, obviously because brands are different, but mainly because uh, Ulta was shopping for friends. So, uh, if you remember in my last haul, I bought a uh, like body butter moisturizer, whatever hair in my mouth. Um, I will link that somewhere in this video if you want to go and watch that one. Uh, it was called the Bum Bum Cream um, and I used it on this tour and absolutely fell in love with it as I knew I would because the scent was just divine. Anyway, so I went and bought three more. I got the same one. So the top one here is the yellow one. It's the same one that I have previously bought. So that's kind of like a repurchase. And then this um, middle one is kind of like a guava color. This is a body cream to visibly brighten and smoothen with fruit A-H-A-S, A-H-A-S and vitamin C. Okay, so that's that one. And then the bottom one is like the lightish pink one. This is a body cream to boost elasticity, plump skin with retinol mimicking cacao oil and plant collagen. So basically all of it is good. Next uh, at Real Techniques, I went and got two more sponges. This is from the Nudes collection. I've never seen them post about this, if I'm being honest. So I think either this is really, really new or really, really old. Um, but yeah, I just, I needed a new sponge because mine was nasty. And this one looked really cute because it's like nude shades. It's like a dark brown and then like a beigey sort of brown. It's cute and I have space now. So new sponges from Real Techniques. Okay, so <laughs> this product. Do you remember in the last video again, I was busy talking about, um, how I wanted this specific product, but I ended up buying this one by mistake. I don't like this one. I'm battling to use it. I just, I tried using it again today and I, st I just still don't know how I quite feel about it. Um, anyway, so I finally got round to getting the correct product. And this is the um, Instant Age Rewind Perfector four in one glow makeup. So it is exactly kind of the same as that like BB cream crap that I bought. Um, but this is very similar in terms of like the packaging and shit to the Instant Age Rewind concealer that I love. So I'm hoping this one's better because I really cannot stand that other tube that I bought. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if you have one and if you love it and you're using it, great. Teach me how to use it because I'm battling. With this product, this next product, I got it from e.l.f. See, this is technically the dupe for the product I actually want, which is that Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, whatever. Um, and every time I go to a Sephora or an Ulta, they either do not have Charlotte Tilbury in the store, or they don't have my shade. And I have now just kind of had it up to here. And I went and got the dupe, which is from e.l.f. This is their Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for radiant skin, which I need because this is not good. When I take this off, I look like shit. Anyway, so they had this, I got the shade. Shade one, which is fair. As you can see, I am lighter than a Victorian child who is sick from the Spanish flu. 
it's something at least I would have preferred the Charlotte Tilbury one but you know as usual I'm just not on the shade spectrum they don't make shades for corpses so anyway this next product I've been looking for again I don't know if I'm just blind or if they just don't stock it in every single Sephora or an Ulta or wherever I go for that matter um, but I have finally found it now um, someone used this on TikTok or oh, this was really going viral on TikTok I'm trying to remember because this is quite um, a not as spoken about product as it was back in the beginning of the year or last year I don't know where I'm going I'm rambling but this is the Patrick Ta um, cream foundation and finishing powder duo it's really hard to read the sign words because everything is just so reflective but it's a Patrick Ta product I bought the shade fair one I'm pretty sure someone used this on TikTok and oh, a lot of people are using it on TikTok and I'm like I need that in my life and also I don't have a product like this personally or in my kit where it's like a um, foundation and powder like duo so this is really pretty and reflective oh, look at my dirty house and my selfie light hey there's me hey girl hey <laughs> okay anyway moving on uh, like I said I got the shade fair one so you open it and it has this gigantic mirror which I love I I love compacts that have mirrors that I can just look at myself because I'm vain but anyway so it has um, the foundation bitty thing at the top here and then you just lift the goodie majobi it has like a goodie majobi so that you can access the foundation and then it has like a finishing powder at the bottom I love a multi-purpose product like that um, so yeah, I keep thinking there is like a sponge or something underneath here. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let's have a look. I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong. Okay, so it's literally just the powder and the foundation. It's really nice. I have never used a Patrick Tarr product before and I was super keen and I'm kind of glad that this is my like introductory product to him and his line. Patrick Tarr, as far as I know, is not Kylie's makeup artist. That's Ariel. What did, did he do? I don't know my fruits. Okay, I don't know where I am, but I'm glad I bought this product. I'm glad I have it now. It's really, really pretty and shiny and rose gold, um, which I like. So, ah! keen to try that out. Of course, I went shopping at Rare Beauty. Um, I have most of her stuff. I'm loving the brow um, palette set and whatever thing I bought. Uh, you'll find that it also in the previous haul that I did. I absolutely love that. I really like her brow stuff. Um, and everyone was flipping going on about these tinted lip oils. So I'm like, you know what? I need, I need it. And also it's Selena. Like it's a no brainer. It's a dub. Anyway, so this is the soft pinch, soft pinch, soft pinch tinted lip oil. I got the shade Serenity. Again, also I just love her packaging. Like this little situation here. It's so cute. I can't really smell anything. Then again, my nose is blocked. Let's do just like a quick little swatchy swatch. Ooh, nice shade. I went for this specific shade. Um, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's a really bad swatch. Look. You get the idea. It's kind of like a warm, rosy, brick color and that's what I really like for when it comes to um, like autumnal season which we are not in we're in winter Duh. but um, these sort of shades are like my go-to when it comes to like lips and eyes and makeup in general because it's just so pretty um, so yeah I'm just gonna blend this out this is very long way that dried very quickly like I just tapped it and it's like a tiny bit tacky but like I'm trying to rub it off my finger and it hasn't come off so long wearing we love that into the skin because I needed to get a new hairbrush because I literally broke mine two days before I left on tour so I had to get a new brush uh, just like a normal hairbrush this is the eco detangling detangler 
it's a hairbrush. Cool. And then I got a new barrel brush because I'm I'm trying this new thing of trying to like fix my bangs because they're not even. And also I got curtain bangs and now that they've grown out, they're just not doing the things anymore. And it's just annoying. So I needed to tame it with a barrel brush. Look at this. What is that? What is this even? This is a weird product to be placed under the beauty category but I will explain and I got glue sticks now the reason for this is because I would love to do a lot of blocked brow looks but our glue sticks here just don't do it they're very gloppy and they pull and they just get stuck in the brow hairs where this specific one you will recognize this straight away the drag queens all use it it's the purple glue stick um and for like the longest time and i'm talking like a good three four years at this point now i keep forgetting to actually pick up some of these uh every time i go there um and finally i remembered because trav needed some stuff so i went and i got a three pack <laughs> um these are just really nice because they're washable washable good grief can i even just speak english <laughs> they're washable um i have actually used this before when I was working at MAC, I used it for my um, events team interview. Uh, when I was applying to be um, on the Fashion Week team, we had to do obviously a makeup interview and the look I had to do um, had a blocked brow. Um, and that was the lecture for the day is how to block a brow uh, correctly, but it's honestly the best glue to use for blocking brows. Next thing I got at Sephora is um, Oh, did I get the wrong thing? So now why would I go and say that? That makes no sense. Okay, sorry. Rage, let me just have a rage out moment. Anyway, um, I bought the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream Dewy Moisture and Plumping Moisturizer from Glow Recipe. It says refillable moisturizer right there. Um, so I thought, oh flip, it comes in like a different container and I've now gone and bought uh, bought like a cartridge or something um but it looks like the normal product to me okay i'm just gonna move on because that just doesn't make sense i'm gonna have to check online what i've picked up here but anyway um so normally i i've used the watermelon pink juice anyway so i uh, people on tiktok were talking about this a lot of influencers and beauty peeps were talking about this and how really nice it is and i was um heavily in love with the pink watermelon juice moisturizer at the time um and i thought it would be nice just to like change it up a bit um so i got this one but now i'm just really perturbed by this refillable moisturizer crap i hate knowing that i've bought like the wrong thing even though it's not like the end of the world i just i hate feeling like that but anyway it's a really good moisturizer. It's supposed you can supposedly use it as like a uh, slugging moisturizer because it is really thin, uh, like the pink juice. You can use it as a um, invisible face mask, which is basically just another word for slugging. So you put it on your face, you leave it on, your face absorbs, and you look beautiful the next day. You look, wake up feeling moisturized. You have that really nice glow you dewy, you've got that like out of gym, fresh out of the shower look. That's my vibe. I bought a lot of skincare, just so you know, like not a lot of this stuff here is beauty based, like cosmetics. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway. Okay, so the next product, this is definitely a repurchase, but in the sense of I bought the full size now. So again, in my last video uh, haul that I did on my channel, um, I bought a um, an Ulla Hendrickson, damn, I'm getting old, um, like duo set where it came with like the eye cream and this strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer, whatever. And now that I've tried the travel size and it's finished, I absolutely love it. It smells good, it did something miraculous to my face when I was traveling because my skin does tend to get quite dry 
it just did the things to my face and I really appreciated the things that it did to my face. So I went and I got the full size one. Um, to be honest, I can't remember what it does. If you want to find out what it does, check the other video. But um, that's what it looks like. It smells really, really, really good. It smells very citrusy, which I like. And I think it, ooh, I think it actually does contain some kind of like vitamin C or something, which I really appreciate when it comes, excuse me, when it comes to the winter months. Because here in Joburg, everything is dry. The air is dry. That's it. Everything is dry. There's just no moisture in the air. It's not like Durban where at least there's some kind of humidity in the air. It is literally <sighs> dust. Sometimes if I sit still long enough, I can taste the grit in the air. Which is disgusting. It's lightweight. It goes on really nice. It absorbs super fast so you can go in straight away with your makeup once you have applied it okay this is <laughs> this is another skincare item i really just i like i feel like my last haul was very cosmetics based and now this haul is very like skincare based like look after yourself kind of thing uh which is fine there's nothing wrong with that anyway this is from the brand wishful and it's the pillowgasm cherry glow sleeping mask now essentially this is just really fancy words for slugging um i know i've mentioned this twice or th like four times in this video now but if you don't know what slugging is it's when you use um double the amount of product you would normally use on your, s your face so like if you're using moisturizer and you use let's say just put it in metric terms five mils of face cream on your face you are now going to use 10 mils and you're going to double up and layer and thicken that bitch up on your face so that you kind of create a mask so you're kind of turning your moisturizer into a face mask that's why they call it invisible masks it's basically just a thicker amount of product on your face um, and then you sleep overnight with it or you put it on in the plane and your skin just kind of absorbs it and it nourishes your face and it just gives you this really nice healthy glow you look moisturized you feel moisturized your skin's soft uh, anyway so again I did see this on TikTok yes this one I did see on TikTok um, and I think it was actually someone who was like an avid traveler like myself and why won't you open and she was saying that she uses this product on the plane as her sleeping mask or like to sleep or whatever and I don't know just that stupid thing kind of oh cute you get a little sample ah. enzyme scrub great um and i'm just a sucker for buying things when like people are like travely people like me and they're like oh you need this for the plane it's a sleeping mask and i'm just like yes i do need that you're right i mean i have something similar at home that i can just bring from home but you know what you're so right. i need this for the plane but anyway it's basically just a moisturizer that you put on your face anyway oh <gasps> Girl. And it does smell like cherries. Oh my gosh, yes. I know Trav's also gonna enjoy this because he loves when I give him like skincare and like give him a face massage and shit, that kid is really spoiled. I think I'm buying this for myself. No, it's for my husband. And then this is a hair product, which I normally don't buy hair products. Okay, let's just get into it real quick. I have an amazing hairdresser and I buy all my products from her. Okay, she does my hair. Okay, not right now because I tried doing this myself. And I obviously forgot how to wash my hair. But she does my color, she does my cut. She's been doing it for the last three, four years. I've known her for a long time um, and I normally get all my products from her but I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos from JVN that's the product and the person I'm talking about I've been watching a lot of his videos and 
just been really trying to like actively take care of my hair and scalp health and because essentially I'm trying to grow my hair okay it has grown out quite a bit considering how short I had it a couple videos ago and I'm talking like last year like and also when I did that neon yellow it didn't damage my hair at all but I've just gotten to this point where I'm like okay you know what stop it now you need to start looking after your hair you need to start like looking after it and making sure it grows and blah, 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 all these things anyway in watching a lot of his videos he constantly talks about his products obviously because he's a brand owner duh. but he mentions this specific product a lot in my mind and it's the complete instant recovery serum and it just got me ticking i got the travel size again i don't like to buy full sizes of certain things until i've tried it and determine if i like it or not but anyway that's what it looks like um to be honest i can't actually remember what this does oh i'm it's so bad oh this smells amazing let me just take a quick look at the box because i'm like bad beauty influencer distribute through damp hair to protect against heat damage ah okay so it's almost like a heat protectant okay which is good because i almost went and bought a heat protectant again today and i'm kind of glad i forgot to buy one so okay great you know what i bet you it does a lot more things but um, i'm really keen to try this so that will be my next week's adventure i went to essence and i bought four new lip liners um i specifically got a lot of these nudie shades and a darker red specifically because I have nudes in my kit, I have pinks in my kit, but I don't have the in-betweens, like like these sort of things. Like, I So I'm just gonna do like a quick little swatch for you. Um, oopsies. These are retractables, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, they turn up. They're the turn up ones, which is cute. Okay, so this first shade here, this is number four, rosy nude. Ugh. Yes, come leave me alone. Cool, so that's number four, rosy nude. This next one is zero to silky hazelnut. I haven't broken the tips on these yet. Um, I will when I actually use them because that's the sanitary thing to do. So that one is the silky hazelnut. That one is the rosy, whatever I called it just now. Actually. Next one is zero five pink blush. And that's a really pretty just like true to color pink so I'm trying to use my monitor to actually see where I am in the camera and I'm just it's not working um, but yeah that's like a really nice just true to pink anyway and then this is number eight dark berry oh, this is actually a blue red very deceiving oh my gosh it's kind of like it's got blue undertones in it. Okay, it's fine. It's not like a big deal. I can mix things. Where am, where am I in my camera? Oh my gosh. I can mix this with other things in my kit, but it's just deceiving when like the packaging looks warm and then it's a blue red. I got two new brushes. I got um, this pouted out antibacterial lip brush from Sorbe just because I needed a new lip brush. And then this is by Real Techniques. It's their Cashmere Dreams line. I bet you it's super old because I haven't seen this. And this is the 021 concealer brush. The reason I bought this is because I was actually looking for their 430 fan concealer brush or uh, flat brush or something like that. And I can't find it anywhere. But this one looked similar to me. So I'm like, you know what? It looks close enough. I'm just gonna get it. So for a purchase, they just give you a whole bunch of samples. <laughs> so I've got samples for days. When it comes to Sunday. Sunday is my absolute reset for the week bath. That bath is my guilty pleasure and it's what I look forward to at the end of every week because it's when I do the some cute. Um, it's when I do my everything bath. I wash my hair, I um, condition, I shave, I moisturize, I exfoliate, I do my, my face masks, like I just, I do all the things. But one thing that has been like 
very up and down lately is the stuff I put in the bath. Like I don't put bubble bath in because you know, infections. But I love um, like the bath bombs or the bath fizzes uh, or bath salts and stuff like that. Anyway, so I've been on the hunt for like a really nice one. And while I was shopping in Eastgate the other day, I went across to the, now this shop used to be called Big Blue. I can't Ooh. remember what it's called now. It's, oh, I feel so terrible that I actually cannot remember what this place is called. Or Kitsch, or something like that. You, you know the store I'm talking about. They used to be Big Blue, but now they're called like Kitsch or something like that. Anyway, so they had these um, chilling salts and this is a pure relaxing Epsom salts with CBD isolate and natural eucalyptus scent. Now I love eucalyptus. I love any scent to be like completely frank. It doesn't bother me, but I've been looking for something that is really, really calming and just a scent that I know that when I just chill in my bath, I can switch off because Sundays are my switch off days. I don't talk to anybody on a Sunday. I don't leave my house. I don't visit anyone. I don't do anything on a Sunday unless it's like someone's birthday. Um, because to me, Sundays are my reset days. You don't talk to me. You will not find me anywhere on a Sunday. I do not exist on a Sunday. But anyway, so I got these. Um, also because it says here to restore your mojo and relax your muscles and eggs by adding a few tablespoons to a long hot bath. Okay, so that's just this, if this doesn't reset my life and realign my chakras and, you know, put my moon in the asparagus or the microwave or whatever retrograde shit y'all believe in, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I also went and got some eye patches just because my under eyes have been uh, really funky lately. Not in terms of like wrinkles or aging or anything like that. It's just my under eyes look really dry and crepey and I just need something to help them. Also, these are really nice to like put under your eyes while you do your makeup. So like while you're doing your eye makeup, you can have this just sitting on your face, doing a thing, do, like do what it needs to do. And then when you pull it off, you can go in can, and continue with your makeup and you just feel and look 10 years younger. That was a lot. We're gonna take a very quick break before I get into the other stuff. Um, BRB. Okay, and we're back. Trap bought me some coffee, which is nice of him. The next part of this video is like, all the clothing items that I bought while I was away. Um, and also I had to replenish all my jewelry because I got robbed. Great. Um, a lot of people actually messaged me that day that I found out that I got robbed. So basically, here's the story. I never put my jewelry in my big bag. It's always in my hand luggage with me. At the very last minute, literally at the counter, I took it out and I dumped it in my big bag and I locked it. Like, whatever. It's material shit. I don't care. I really don't care. It's whatever. Also, the stuff they took barely came up to like 500 Rand because it was all my Mr. Price maker, um, jewelry. I never travel with my with my heirlooms. I don't travel with my expensive jewelry that I've, that's been passed down from family. I never ever ever travel unless I have it physically on my body. Because I've been traveling ever since I was like 16 and my bag has never, not one time been broken into. Um, and I just, I found it strange that this specific tri trip they got into it because at the last minute I dumped my jewelry in my big bag. Anyway, so my bag is slightly damaged. You can see where they jammed the pin in to break the lock and open my bag. Um, but I'm just very upset because they stole my grandmother's engagement ring. Uh, that took me down for like the entire time that I was doing the New Zealand tour because I never ever ever travel anywhere without that ring physically on my finger. Like this ring. This is my grandmother's sapphire. It will never leave my finger. Obviously my wedding ring, you will never see me without it. And then my grandmother's engagement ring. But the reason why it wasn't on my finger this time is because when we arrived from Europe, we literally had like two, three days, four days home, I think, before we had to pack and leave for New Zealand. And my fingers and feet and hands just swell up incredibly from flying. Um, and I just could not, for the life of me, get this ring on my finger. I managed to get my grandmother's sapphire on, I managed to get my engagement ring back on, but for the life of me, I could not get my Omar's engagement ring on my finger. So 
So I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I will put it in my jewelry box. It's okay. And then I forgot about it. And then obviously with me last minute throwing my jewelry box in my big bag, I didn't think to like, oh, let me take that ring out and just put it somewhere on me. So they stole that. You can take whatever you want from me. I could give two shits. You could have stolen my entire bag. I could not care, but you've, you've got my Omar's engagement ring now. And that really upset me and I still am very, very upset that that happened. But, um, so yeah, so that's the story. So I went on a, a repurchasing spree after I complained to Emirates about it. Emirates, I'm looking at you. Did some shopping at Take A Lot, obviously. Who does not shop at Take A Lot? I got a new makeup bag because they ripped through everything. They broke the mirror, the, the lid to that bag is now broken. I can still use it, but it doesn't feel like anything is secure or safe in that bag anymore. So I've just decided I'm not going to use it anymore. And I um, got a new makeup bag. This is like a tan brown sort of color with uh, like a little handle. Technically, I saw this on Amazon, but I didn't want to order from Amazon. But I found Take A Lot had something very similar. So there's like compartments and stuff in there. So if you want, when I do eventually get around to packing my bags again for the next tour, I will definitely do a video of me packing my new makeup bag. Also, it says something on here that doesn't make sense, just so you're aware. Again, I saw this on Amazon. A lot of people were talking about this on Amazon. And it's that little tool case. The little case where everyone like, keeps their medication and stuff. Now, I do have a first aid kit that I take with me in my bag, but that zip is also like on its way out and also on its way to like breaking. So I went on Take A Lot and found something similar. But a little mini steamer for when I travel uh, but it's just annoying when like I want to go out and I've brought like a really cute outfit to like go out and like have fun in the town and then I have to like hang it up in the shower and try and de-steam and decrease certain things in the shower and it doesn't always drop it's really really small it's really cute cool so I'm excited to try that out next up we have a typo purchase even though the bag says cotton on like, it's called a tech pouch. It looks like that. Let me open it for you. Earbuds case for my Samsung. I leave it in a coin purse and then attach that to my hand luggage. So it's just like easy access for me to reach in the airport for when I need it. But the only thing that goes in there is the air, is my little pods case. Um, and the zip to that coin purse is actually breaking. A lot of my shit is just breaking because it's not travel tour worthy whatever anyway so I saw they were having a sale on typo look it's not the color I wanted but it's just so cute and I can attach this to my carry-on and put my little um, headphones in there and know that they are safe and they are just easy access for like even when I'm sitting in the car and I need to reach for my uh, headphones like I can just grab it um, for my laptop I do have a laptop bag but it's a backpack that backpack is also wearing through slightly because of how much stuff I put in it especially for like when I have a show day sometimes like the little protective case where my laptop and iPad goes or my little tablet goes gets knocked around um, people have spilled things on my bag by accident and then like my laptop gets wet it got wet. I'm surprised that laptop still works anyway. So I just bought a little like protective laptop sleeve. You can see it's like super thick and squishy where I can just put my laptop in and also put my um, tablet in so that I can put this in that backpack and know that it's protected or like if for whatever reason I decide to not take my laptop bag and use a separate like carry-on bag, then I can just bring this with. Next we have a Levisa um, par uh, parcel package. Levisa. These are literally the things I bought to replace all my missing jewelry. I haven't replaced everything. Okay, so I've got these cute little green um, drop earrings. I uh, well, the second set yet are these little gold huggy diamante hoops. This is a baguette 
princess ring. Uh, the next thing here is another ring. It looks like it's giving your finger a hug. And I just thought that was really cute. Found something close-ish. It's not exactly the same, but it's close-ish and it's good enough, obviously. And um, I got it in black. Which is this black and gold, like, flicky sort of ring. I did some shopping at Miss Thomas. So I got this um, body chain, so it's kind of like a bra that you wear underneath like a bodysuit um, or like a really low cut top and then it looks like a chain. We purchased this body chain as well, um, which again is just like a chain that you can wear underneath a really like low cut top or a bodysuit and it just, it just looks really cute. I just replaced it with something not at all the same but it looks it looked cool so like whatever it's been replaced so okay another mr price purchase first one is kind of like a black chiffon dress so i got this like chiffon baby doll dress and of course i love shopping the project The notification for ESCOM did come up, by the way, and I absolutely ignored it. So let me just sort out my lighting here for you, for you, friends. I'm sorry. The lighting for the rest of this video is going to be absolute trash. I apologize. Deadline at Mr. Price, um, just because they have some really cool editorial pieces that are still like everyday wearable. So that's where I got this really cute baby doll dress. From. It's got this really obnoxious collar. I will insert pictures of the models also here so that you can actually see what it looks like because I don't think just me holding up the item is doing it any justice. Then I got a mesh dress with a slip dress underneath it. So it's very hard to tell but it's a structured sort of like mesh dress. And this is the pattern of the slip dress. And then of course while we are on the topic of jeans I actually did do some shopping um, Overseas. I went to Forever 21. New pair of black jeans for show. They're kind of like cargo y. They have these really like um, like big pockets on the legs. It's um, elasticated sort of thing. They're like balloon jeans. Especially with women's pants, I will find a pair of jeans that fit my waist perfectly, but then they're too tight around my legs. That is my neighbor. Put. One from the surprise. I just got this cute little bodysuit in like a chocolate brown sort of color. Anyway, bought a new pair of fishnet tights. Um, I got a pack of panties, like just little Brazilians. Um, I got a grey, a nude, and a purple. Cute. I got other pretty panties. I'm gonna show you because that's just not for you the silk pair of wrap pants so like you put the pants on and you wrap it and tie it and all these things but love wearing them like high waisted up here yeah you can't see that but anyway, i love wearing them high waisted um and also i love this burnt orange color i have a couple items in this rusty sort of color then the last item is from bash oh, there we go bash now this is the online retailer or website or store there you are sorry i was looking in my comments and i'm like where am i but the actual item is from the store called the fix um i call it a muppet jacket because that sort of reminds me of it's just this really cozy it's it's labeled a fur jacket but it's not real fur it's that cheapy car seat fur um also, I have a handbag that looks exactly like this. So I feel like it was just meant to be. If you have made it this far to the video, congratulations. I will list everything down below in my description box if you are keen. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for staying until the end if you have. If you have not, that's okay. I completely understand. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's like up here somewhere. And like and follow me on all social media platforms. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget whenever you can to refer the Gypsy Caravan. Cheers and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.